Chaitya and I'm a restorative dentist in the dental ward implant clinics. I've been working in the clinic since its establishment and have been helping people getting their smiles back using dental implants. So far I have restored about 8,000 dental implants. On behalf of our team, which you can see on the picture now, I would like to thank you for joining us today on this talk about dental implants. In the clinic every day we witness patients, um, how dental implants change the life of our patients and this is why we decided to do this presentation and to tell you a bit more about all these benefits which implant, dental implants have. Uh, what we have accomplished so far in the clinic, we have provided about 9,000 consultations and we have placed more than 50,000 dental implants. In between me and, my t and the team we share about more than 200 years of experience. You can see what our patients here say about us and I can tell you a bit more about my experience um, with going to the dentist as a kid. When I was four years old I fell badly and I cut my lip and I hurt my tooth, one of my front teeth, luckily it was a baby tooth. Uh, however, this tooth was getting so many reoccurring abscesses that I needed to go to the dentist too often. And I don't really remember any significant pain in the dental chair, but I do remember how I was crying probably a few days before the appointment. So I think that probably this experience helps me to understand my anxious patients today and how what they need to overcome just to pick up the phone and even book their first consultation with us. Also, I will never forget one of the patients, one of my first patients in the clinic. Um, she was only 25 years old and she came to her first consultation with her teeth, her upper bridge in her hand. Um, yes, yeah, she was all, only 25 and she had a full bridge on some existing upper teeth. Unfortunately, the teeth were so badly decayed that we had only the option to remove them. And then she could have only a removable denture in 25 or implant and implant retained bridge. She chose the second option. So she had six dental implants placed by my colleague and a few months later I made her an implant retained bridge. I would never forget how happy she was on her last appointment and how she cried from happiness, telling me that thank, thank you for giving me my smile back. And it was even more amazing when I saw her six months later for a checkup and she told me thank you for giving me my life back. So many patients like her and many others have encouraged us to do this presentation as I mentioned and to tell you more about the benefits of having dental implants and how missing and damaged teeth could be restored with dental implants. That's why today we will be talking first about the consequences of missing teeth, why dental implants are simply the best solution and what is a dental implant of course, I will show you some slides. Uh, why dental implants are preferred uh, option and not dentures or bridges and why also traditional dentures become loose over time. I will show you some before and after cases from our patients and at the very end also some facts and statistics about the dental implants. So the first thing what we see here on that picture is that, that man, this man is missing a tooth. He is missing something else. Uh, yes, he is missing an eyebrow and probably many of you didn't even notice. Because the first thing which we notice in people is statistically proved that is the smile and the teeth are 99% of this smile. So if any of you is curious, this is not any of our patients or at least not yet. Because I will show you what will happen to this man and any other person who is having missing tooth or teeth. The first thing what of course happens when we are missing multiple teeth is the changes in the face, the aging of the face. Bone loss as well comes along when we are missing teeth, misalignment and over eruption of teeth is another consequence. Some patients start suffering with teeth, with speech defects, other get jaw joint problems and the last but not the least is the psychological, the negative psychological effects from missing teeth. The aging of the face, we can see here on that video how the face can change when we are missing especially multiple teeth. Uh, once we lose the teeth we start losing the bone. The bone shrinks, the bite collapses 
and this is how wrinkle starts appearing around the mouth uh, the corners of the mouth drop in most cases these people look quite unhappy all the time and this is why the patient's face look much older than it is when we are missing all teeth as we can see on that video the other consequence is the bone loss why this happens is because the bone remodels due to function so once we have teeth we bite we chew and all this stimulates the bone to keep its volume and shape so we can clearly see on this picture that when we are missing a tooth we don't have function there is no biting in that area not chewing and the bone starts shrinking we can clearly see it where the molar tooth is missing the bone ridge is much thinner comparing to the bone ridge where that molar tooth is still present. The other consequence is misalignment and over eruption of teeth. This is not also any of our patients, but the situation when we're missing teeth neighboring, and what happens with the neighboring teeth is quite similar. Here we are missing one molar tooth and every day I see patients in the clinic who tell me um, I'm not bothered at the moment for my back teeth. I know I miss them, but I can still eat without them. My problem is my missing front tooth, which I can clearly understand. However, I would always would like to make them aware what will happen if they leave this missing tooth for a long time without any restoration. We can see the neighboring teeth start trying to close the space. They change position, they tilt towards the gap and their cleaning also starts becoming an issue. Uh, they can get decay easily and also the upper tooth, we can see that it starts coming out of the bone. In some cases it can come out so significantly that the tooth can become loose. So this is why I would like to tell my patients that of course all this doesn't happen in a day. Uh, it can happen in months, in years as well, but patients should be aware about this because we've had unfortunately many cases when patients would come to us thinking to restore this missing tooth and then it appears that we need to do lots of treatments for the other neighboring teeth and for the opposing tooth as well. The speech defect, as we mentioned already, is the other consequence for missing teeth. It usually is when we miss one or few front teeth because the tongue, the lips and the teeth, they work together to create words. So once we miss one or a few front teeth, some patients can start getting a lisp. Uh, the jaw joint problems, probably many of you are thinking where is this joint on the face, but there is, and it's exactly located in front of the ear. It connects our lower jaw with the scalp and usually it doesn't cause any pain what first starts happening is when we lose teeth the bite collapses and usually this starts appearing with click in the joint when we open wide when we close there is a click which usually doesn't bother the patient because there is no pain uh, slowly of course comes uh, discomfort and at the very end it can become also chronic pain and this is usually when patients start searching for help and solution to their problem and pain the negative psychological effects, unfortunately, when patients are missing many teeth uh, or even one front tooth, they can start trying to avoid social contacts, to speak to people, to go out with friends, with family. Some patients wearing dentures feel very uncomfortable eating in public places because they simply can't eat with their dentures and all this can lead in some cases to depressions. So knowing all these consequences from missing teeth, what do we do now? I and my colleagues probably in the clinic will tell you that simply the best solution are dental implants. And first I will tell you what is a dental implant. The dental implant, it consists of these three parts. The implant fixture, the abutment and the dental crown. The implant fixture is the titanium screw which is surgically inserted into the jawbone. It stays for a few months in the jawbone and then we attach the implant and the dental crown. The abutment is the part which will connect the tooth crown exactly with the dental implant. How the dental implant procedure is done? So it's usually, it takes few appointments. However, the first appointment is the implant placement. 
is done under local anesthetic and a gum flap is raised, as we can see here on the video. Uh, once this is done, different sizes of drills are used to prepare the, in the place in the bone for the implant. The sizes of the implants they are different, however, it's chosen by the implant surgeon. And of course, it's chosen depending on the bone quality, the depth, the width of the bone as well. Once the different drills are used and the place prepared for the implant, it is screwed in into the bone and then this small purple screw is the cover screw just to close the access to the implant. The second step is the exposure. As I already mentioned, when we again make a much smaller cut on the gum, this cover screw is removed and then a healing abutment is placed into the implant. Sometimes we don't even need sutures, however, in two weeks time we take impressions for the crown and in about another four weeks we have the abutment and the crown. So this is how the dental implant procedure takes place. So why are dental implants better than dentures? This is a very common question from our patients and why they come to us in most cases is because they're fed up with their removable dentures because dentures traditional dentures they become loose uh, they don't really feel comfortable because many patients they would come to us and they say i can't really eat properly i need to take my denture out to eat um, my palate is covered with this acrylic and i can't taste the food and all this of course uh, it's quite a discomfort for all patients. So why the implants are preferred option? Exactly because first they feel and just work like natural teeth. Uh, they are stable, they are firmly fixed into the jawbone and they just maintain also the facial structure because they stimulate also the bone being there and firmly fixed into the jawbone. So why the dentures become loose? Uh, the main thing is the bone loss. And this happens because the denture possibly lies on the gum. So there is no real stimulation of the bone. It even leads to more shrinkage of the bone. And of course, in a few years time, this denture will just be much bigger comparing to the bone underneath. So in some cases, unfortunately, even it can ruin the best day of our life because sometimes dentures become so loose that they can even fall out when, when patients are talking. Also, even with the first fitting of these removable dentures, the bite forces are significantly decreased and patients can't really bite on an apple, for example, or eat a steak with these removable dentures, which of course also limits the food selection for these patients. As we already mentioned, all these uh, disadvantages of removable dentures here. And why also dental bridges are not the best solution? Because for example, in this case, uh, and in many others, healthy tooth structures should be removed uh, on the neighboring teeth. Healthy tooth structure of the neighboring teeth should be removed to have the bridge made. And we can see here, this bridge is probably 10, 15 years old. And unfortunately, of course, it did a good job, but unfortunately we can see the bone recession. And we can see that there might be also some problems with these teeth, which are having the bridge, because they've been overloaded for these years when the bridge has been there. And because they've been taking the pressure of the missing teeth as well. So what the dental implants, luckily, they offer different solutions. Uh, even one missing tooth could be restored with single dental implant and it could be even three missing teeth restored with two dental implants, for example. We don't need a dental implant for every missing tooth. And for this case, for example, two dental implants are placed and three unit bridge is made. Also, there are solutions for full mouth restoration where we have four implants and implant retained denture or six implants, for example, and implant retained bridges. These are some cases from our patients. Before is the picture where the patient came to us and he was missing his up, upper and lower teeth for quite a while. 
there was a significant bone loss in both jaws and the remaining teeth needed to be removed because of poor prognosis. So once also the remaining teeth were removed, uh, four implants were placed in upper jaw and he had an implant retained denture and in the lower jaw six implants were placed with implant retained bridge. Patient was very happy with the result because he was able to eat absolutely everything. Another case which looks to, could be, to be quite simple with restoration of one dental implant. The patient had orthodontic treatment to create enough space for this uh, crown and at the end of the orthodontic treatment because before even removing the braces the implant screw was inserted into the jawbone and a few months later when the braces were removed the implant crown was done on the implant. Another case is again a full mouth restoration where due to the significant bone loss in upper and lower jaw, four implants were placed in each jaw and implant retained dentures were made. So why dental implants are the best solution nowadays for restoring missing teeth? Because they are very strong, they are durable, they are made from titanium, which is the most biocompatible material with the human body. They can't get decays, however, regular checkups with the dentist are still a must, even having dental implants. Uh, they also prevent from bone loss because they are connected to the bone and they stimulate it. And nowadays they are considered to be the best solution because they are also natural looking. Patients really say that they feel like having their own teeth back. And I know that there is this belief going around that dental implants are expensive, but I believe I think that in the clinic we made it quite affordable for our patients to have this treatment. And I can say it, it's an investment in your in your health uh, because the payment options here are different finance options. Pay as you go. We also offer interest-free finance. I would like to thank you for the attention. And if any of you has any missing teeth and would like to have a solution for restoration of missing or damaged teeth, feel free to contact us for a free dental implant consultation. The consultation usually takes about an hour and it includes a full dental examination with an x-ray. The x-ray usually is a CBCT scan to precisely see what is the bone quality, the width, the depth as well of the bone. And only after that, we can provide you with the different options of treatment and restoring missing or damaged teeth, of course, uh, taking into account your wishes, of course, and expectations. So thank you again for the attention and you can feel free to contact us here on the email address and the phone number which you can see. Thank you. Thank you.